What's cracking, YouTube? It's Crypto and W Wo here, and in today's video, we have another Dark Web Mystery Unboxing. Now, you probably didn't click my last notification. I've been off YouTube for quite a bit, but my last notification and some other notifications coming in the future, I'm gonna be uploading some scary stories now. Uh, I'm gonna be still doing Dark Web Mystery Boxes. I'm still gonna be doing random Nautica videos, but I thought scary stories would make a great addition onto the channel. So, without any further hesitation, we have a three camera setup. This is camera number one, this is camera number two, and this is camera number three. Uh, it's a typical camera setup that I use on Crypto and W Wo. I like when I have this GoPro on my head, but we're going to be using it as a um, hand cam. Cut one. Cut two. It's a pretty decently sized package. It's actually really, really freaking heavy. It has red tape and white tape on it. But anyways, um, without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and let's get this dark web mystery box started. All right. Okay, so we have packing peanuts inside the dark web package. Now when it comes to sending dark web mystery boxes to me or to any other YouTuber or any package in general, I think where they spend a lot of time on making sure the package arrives to me safely, uh, that's really, really nice of them. However, um, I'm never gonna give these people props because these are dark web mystery boxes and anyways, to get this video started, I wanna show you guys what's inside the package. We have a lot of Oh, we have, a, we have a word search right on the, the flap of the box. If you guys wanna go ahead and screenshot that, it's an underline right there. It says dot onion slash SD4WG. It's, it's, so it looks like an onion link. That's gonna be really freaking hard. There is a word search here and it wants you to find a onion link within this word search. That's gonna be damn near impossible. You know, with my experience of going on the dark web, which I have a couple of videos, surfing the dark web 2021 and exploring the dark web 2020, check those videos out. They're gonna be linked down in the description. You're gonna love those videos. They're actually like one of my best performing videos. But anyways, um, I've done a lot of browsing on the dark web and I've seen a lot of onion links and they're basically just a bunch of random letters. So if they want us to find a bunch of random letters on this word search, it's flashing up on the screen for you guys. That's a little close up so you can screenshot it. But if they want us to find an onion link within this word search and it's gonna be random letters, like I said, it's gonna be damn near impossible. So I'm not gonna go ahead and attempt it to do it myself. I don't even know if I see any words. Let me know if you guys see any like recognizable words in the comment section. Maybe it's gonna help me, but the first thing that we're gonna pull out of the dark web mystery box, we got a couple of eggs here. My, 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 my. So we have a green egg that we got from the dark web package and haven't done this in a long time, but we're gonna go ahead and just... Oh, it has packing peanuts inside there and it has... Oh my God. <laughs> It's a freaking head. I, I don't know why I got scared of it. It's just a little action figure, but what the... Oh my God. That's a kid, right? If you guys know who that is, because it's, it's a toy. Maybe it's like an action figure. It's not like, it's not plastic. It's almost like it was a statue. But if you guys know who that was, then let me know in the comment section down below. Bruh. Packing peanuts inside the green egg. That's a pretty interesting way to get the mystery box started. More eggs. Should I just get, yeah, you know what? It looks like we have a Google Home inside here, a Google Home Mini. I'm pretty sure these are called Nest now. I, I, don't, I don't know why, I don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure. I was walking in Best Buy and I was like, ah, remember the Google Home? And it doesn't say Google Home on it, it says Google Nest. What the hell happened? I don't even know what the heck happened, but um, it's, oh wow, on the back, on the back it says, do not, plug in. I, I think that says plug. I'm sorry. I don't know how to read spaghetti. Yeah, do not plug in. So we have a Google Nest here, a Google Nest Mini or a Google Home Mini. I can't take that seriously. I don't know why, but it looks like it's kind of stained up a little on that side. Kind of putting it in the light a little bit. It looks like a little yellowish on that side. That's another close up for you guys. That's how the front looks like. What material is this made out of? Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to take everything that I want to keep and I'm going to put it to my left side, which is your right side. And everything that goes in the trash is going to go to my right side, your left. And this over here, it says, uh, do not plug in on it. Should I plug it in? Let me know in the comment section if I should plug this in. The next thing that we're going to be pulling out of the dark web package here. Oh boy. Over here we have So we have a white packet inside the dark web mystery box with the, it looks like the same red tape that was on the outside of the package when I first unboxed it. We opened up that little packet over here. It looks like a typical mailing packet. And within it, we've got, 
Oh my god, what the heck is this? So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I just realized the problem. I'm using three cameras. I don't know if the GoPro is doing justice right now with capturing what exactly this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to a much better organization setup. So um, anyways, this should be a much better angle for you guys, but this is exactly what was pulled out of the dark web mystery box within that white packet. If you guys know what this stuff is, then go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below. There is uh, 12 of these things and there are a couple of a couple of those but like i said i feel like i've seen these before i don't really know exactly what it is just tell me in the comment section because i'm going to be sitting here for hours upon hours if i google every single item inside this massive dark web mystery box i've already been recording for quite a bit and um we haven't even made a dent inside the dark web package we're going to take out you know what we're just going to take out a lot of stuff all at once oh <laughs> damn it it's not even halloween and i already got this you know what helping me with my halloween decorations already we have a skeleton here Oh, spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, yeah, this is super spooky. You know, we get it from a dark web package and we should already be afraid. I wonder if it's glow in the dark. I'm totally checking. Oh yeah, it is, it glows, oh my God. So we got a spooky, scary skeleton here and I'm gonna be taking this, definitely putting this to my left side. It's definitely gonna be helping me with my uh, Halloween decorations this year. Thank you so much, Mr. Dark Web Man. Next thing that we have inside the package is, oh wow. <laughs> Oh shoot. Okay, so um, I think I know where that head came from, but I thought I was looking at like a famous head, but no, it's just, it looks like one of these prayer plaques. Communion, I'm pretty sure, from a communion. Yeah, Broski is praying and he has a cross within his hands. What did that say? If you guys know what the heck that says, please let me know in the comment section. I can't read cursive. Something smells really, really freaking nasty inside this mystery box and I have no idea. I'm guessing it's within this package or I'm guessing it's, ew, it looks like a, ew, it looks like, Oh, what a, ew, it's so oily. <laughs> ew. I can feel it. Ew, through the glove. It's so nasty. What is this? Oh my god. This looks like cooked meat. Ew. Oh, okay. I think maybe this is where the nasty rotten smell is coming from. So I'm gonna go ahead and dispose this in the garbage right now because that's like nasty. Really, really nasty. Yeah, getting rid of that definitely helped out significantly. We have more of this. You know what? It looks like there's a lot of these packing peanuts within the dark web mystery box and I'm gonna be keeping this just like putting it all to the side because if anybody wants anything that arrives in the dark web packages, I have something called handouts and you guys can go ahead and ask for something in the comment section down below. Just tell me what you guys like about these videos, these dark web mystery boxes. Tell me something constructive. Tell me something nice about them. Tell me what you don't like about them if that's the case. But yeah, I'm gonna be using these packing peanuts here to send some items to you guys. Like a lot of people um, want some items that I get in the dark web mystery boxes i don't need any of these things because well if i want something i'm gonna take it i'm gonna keep it from the package i'm sorry like but you know when i have all these dark web packages it looks super weird when people come to visit my house they see all these weird items all stacked up i'd rather just give it to my fans instead of just have it hoard up inside my house so if you guys want them like i said constructive criticism subscribe to the channel too that at least pretty fair you know let me know that in the comment section if you guys want anything and um we're gonna go ahead and move on forward with the package we have another egg here surprise motherfucker so inside this egg this orange egg we have We've got keys and more of those packing peanuts. The more packing peanuts, the better. We've got some keys from that little orange egg and we're gonna take the orange egg, throw it to the right side, my right side, and we've got little keys here. If you guys know what these keys kind of, like a lot of, it's hard to basically tell what keys would be for, but a lot of people have like certain products that match exactly these keys. So if you guys have these exact keys laying around your household, let me know in the comment section exactly what it's used for. Maybe that's gonna help me identifying, well, maybe there's something inside the package we're gonna use this for, you know? So. um. Hold that comment. <laughs> We're gonna take the, the keys and stick the keys to my left. We have this little cardboard package here. And inside this cardboard package. Oh, oh! What's that? It's the, the, the Russian man hat. A Russian Russian cop hat, something. I've seen, a Russian hat. <laughs> oh my God, what? Ah! Oh, that's disgusting. Is this real? I didn't know they were real. I thought that was for style. Oh my God. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this. Okay, is that real? All right, let me know in the comment section if this is real. Just take a, oh, take a look at this. Oh, the bottom, ew. Oh, not the inside, but take a look at the bottom of the tail. Oh my God. Okay, there's nothing else inside that package. Listen, I, I put sunglasses on from Dark Web Mystery Boxes. I have put on masks from Dark Web Mystery Boxes, but I am not putting on this hat. PETA has entered the chat. I am not putting on this hat. I'm actually gonna take this hat. Ah, my God. 
I, I wouldn't even feel right giving this to somebody in the comment section, honestly. I'm gonna put it to my right side. Honestly, it's really a part of the handout if you really, really want it, but I'm gonna be putting it to the right side for now because I don't really know how I feel about that. That really just threw me the hell off. When I see those hats like in, in cartoons or in movies or something, it looked kind of stylistic. It didn't look like actual animals, but that is nasty. That smells nasty. It smells very odd and feels very odd. And the bottom of the tail, nah. No. That's all that's inside that little cardboard here. I'm not gonna look too much into that one, but we're gonna go ahead and just get the next item out of the package. So we have an open egg inside here. We have a purple egg inside here that's already open. Maybe there's something inside the mystery box that we have to find. What's this? Oh, that's a packing peanut. Just like an eight or an infinity logo. Oh, we have, it's not a packing peanut. We have a little, it looks like we have taped together Scrabble pieces. That's the letter T with the one. Taped together Scrabble pieces. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna, uh, how the heck do I do this? It's kind of easy. Okay, so the letters that we pulled out is E, F, T, I, 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 E. How the heck is there three I's in one word? <laughs> well, maybe it is one word. Maybe it's not one word. Um, Fet, Fetty, Ty, Ty, Fi, Ty, Fi? I have no idea. Maybe it's one word, maybe it's two, maybe it's three short words. I have no idea. But if you guys can find out, let me know in the comment section. If you can identify anything with the Scrabble pieces, please let me know because it's not just me that wants to know, but a lot of people in the comments want to know. So um, help them out. And me, of course. The next item that we have inside the package. Oh, we have one of those, um, one of those like eyes wide shut masks. Uh, I mean, like this is, you can easily identify somebody that's wearing this mask. Okay, if you've seen my videos before and I walked up to you wearing this mask, would you know who I am? What kind of mask is this? A mask is supposed to conceal the identity of the one wearing it, you know? And this this doesn't conceal crap. Honestly, honestly, if you guys saw my YouTube videos and like, let's say you saw me for some reason walking in the mall with this mask on, would you know who I was? Would you look at me and be like, crypto? <laughs> or would you be like, ah, it is mysterious man there with the mask, the purple mask. That's actually look really, really nice. I've seen these masks in uh, a lot of um, videos on the PH, you know, so. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and take this nice purple and black metal mask. It's metal. I'm gonna take this one and put this to my left, indicating that it's being kept with me. <laughs> it's a really nice mask, I don't know. I like it. The next item that we are gonna pull out of the dark web mystery box. So I'm thinking, should I remove some of the packing peanuts with inside here or should I just, you know what? Just go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, it's just a couple of boxes inside there. Co couple of boxes, we have a blue. Oh my God. Oh my God, my whole entire childhood has been triggered. I don't know exactly what this show is called. It's a train and it's a cartoon. And this guy, oh my God, he's terrifying. I know if you were born in the 90s and you were staring at your TV and this show came on, you were terrified. You for some reason were so uncomfortable hearing that theme song, looking at these faces. Edward is on the way to bring him thoughts. Edward is on the really useful theme trail. I don't remember them sounding like that. I mean, that sounds kind of like nice and calm for children. When I was a kid, it w there was like a creepy narrator there. I don't know, it scared the crap out of me. I don't remember why it scared the crap out of me. And looking at this dude's face brings back so many triggering goddamn memories. If you're, if you're like me, please let me know in the comments. If you liked this show, <laughs> you're probably a serial killer. Oh my God. That claim was not backed on any scientific data. <laughs> I'm just pulling them out to see if anything small is gonna come out. Also to get a better look within the package. Nah, nothing small. Those are all packing peanuts. Thank you. Oh, oh, we've got a cross here. Oh, wow. It's a heavy cross. The majority of the package's weight, I'm telling you, right here is majority of the package's weight. This is really freaking heavy, but it's kind of nice. On the back side, kind of a peeled off little tag here. Nice cross, really heavy cross. I don't really see anything else on this cross indicating anything cryptic. Um, we're gonna take it and put it to my left side. We have these two yellow things here. I'm gonna get these out of my way. I know a lot of people are like, Crypto, how the hell haven't you pulled these out yet? For some reason, I just thought of that too, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them out right now. It sounds like pills, and to be honest, I don't wanna show pills. It's like my last damn dark web mystery unboxing. It got, it got 
Take a look at this. This is what happened to it, okay? I mean, I'm gonna have to do a lot of more blurring if it's anything super, super illicit, if, because you know, if it's pills, I'm assuming it's illicit. But we did open it over here. It says Aura, Aurora on it, Aurora on it. Take a look at this container here. The container says Aurora, Aurora on it, and it says TH. See on it. Okay, so this is definitely cannabis. And here's the thing. So a lot of people are like, oh, crypto cannabis. Oh my God, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I'm in Canada. This is, this is not that like spectacular. I mean, it's pretty cool to get it in a damn dark web mystery box when you think you're gonna lose all your damn money because the person basically has all the authority to scam you. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty normal to see this stuff down here. There's stores. You can like drive by and like find these stores in Windsor and they sell like cannabis. I mean, I don't know about I don't know about pills. Maybe this is maybe this is medicinal. I don't know about pills, but I do know that like bud is for sale down here. So um, that's in Canada. You know, Canada it's it's fine, legalized, but a lot of other places in the world it's not. So I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like inside. I mean, really fancy words on there. I mean, I don't I don't really know what a sativa is, uh, but uh, that's a company. I'm assuming Aurora is a company. Uh, we're gonna take this and open it. There's like orange little, okay, so, so I'm assuming these capsules here have that THC thing inside. Oh my God, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely throwing these all in the trash. That handout that I talked about earlier, um, this is not included, not included in the handout. After doing a quick little count, it looks like we have, I mean, 24 of them inside here, 23 or 24 of them, maybe 25. 25. <laughs> should, I, should I crack it open? Yeah, I'm gonna crack it. It's maybe not a bad idea. I'm worried that this is gonna kind of splatter everywhere. Maybe it gets on my floor. Maybe my dog licks it up. That's gonna be a really, really bad idea. So um, I'll have footage on the screen for you guys. This is what it looks like with a really good camera in a controlled environment. Do not worry, it's not gonna get on my floor here. I made sure. I'm gonna cut it open and show you guys what it looks like within this capsule. Uh, so take a look at it. As I'm talking to you guys right now, I don't know what it looks like. I'm actually just doing a narration. <laughs> so that's what it looks like inside the capsule. Is it liquidy? Is it powdery? We'll find out in the footage. There's a little close-up with this camera if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at it, but here's a much better camera. Here's a much better perspective, and here is what is inside the little capsule. So I'm going to cut to a scene where these are all inside this little container. I'm going to put this container to the side and throw it in the trash. It's not going to be a part of the handout, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut over to the scene where I put them in the container. All right, now that was much harder than I expected. I actually ended up dropping one on the floor and spent a minute looking for it, but I got them all inside the container. I'm gonna go ahead, close the container, shove it to the right side so it can go ahead in the trash once I'm done the video. We have another one of those little packages here. It sounds like there's more of those capsules inside. I'm gonna get to that in just a second because I don't wanna show too much of it consecutively because maybe that's what the problem was with the last video. I was talking about that for like a really consecutive period. It sounds like there's more capsules, same ones or different ones inside here. Um, I don't want to ruin this video, so I'm going to just put this back inside the mystery box and go through it very shortly. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't want to take a risk right now. The next item that we're going to, wow, we actually have bigger, much bigger items to deal with. All right, so we have a little box inside the dark web mystery box. The Holy Bible. Why do I feel like there's no Holy Bible inside here, but... It's a nice little box here for the Holy Bible, I'm assuming. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what's inside it. Looks like it's supposed to be locked up. Someone locking away a Bible? Is that, is that really a thing? No Bible inside here. Oh, maybe there is. It says medicine cards on it. Medicine cards within this book here. I'll check the book out in just a second. I had to peel off that little paper here. There's a really, really, really offensive message. A lot of people in the comment section would have found it very, 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 very offensive. And um, no, I'm not putting that. I'm not putting that in the video. You know, a lot of these people that send these dark web mystery boxes usually think that these videos are gonna end up on YouTube. So they're trying to get some sort of reaction out of the people if they end up finding their mystery box. But nah, nah I'm not gonna let that. I, I had to peel it off. Sorry about that, guys. It was a really, really nasty comment. But that book inside here, medicine cards. We've got a fellow picture here of Jesus Christ. And and uh, we have a box here that says medicine cards on it. The discovery of power through the ways of animals. Jamie Sams and David Carson. Oh wow. Oh wow, they're, they're, they're tarot cards. Oh my God, <laughs> tarot cards, wow. So I don't know what the heck the big correlation with tarot and the dark web is because lately I've been getting a lot of tarot cards from dark web mystery boxes. I have no idea what the heck they signif signify, but if you guys understand why tarot cards always usually end up in dark web mystery boxes, please let me know in the comment section. Like a lot of people in the comment section don't usually like 
tarot cards they're like crypto get on with it get on with it but then i see i do see a lot of comments where people are like crypto oh wow those tarot cards are really cool i wish i could have them uh these are a part of the handout if you want them uh, i was told a lot of times don't mess around with tarot cards these things can absolutely ruin your freaking life this one is an eagle hawk elk also the, yeah they're literally just animals a snake we all know people in our lives that look like this guy a butterfly a turtle a moose a hey. <laughs> canadian animal gang okay a porcupine a coyote that's pretty cool a dog this one here is flipped over a wolf number 15 is a wolf that's pretty cool 14 is a dog 13 is coyote a couple flipped ones here this one's flipped too number 21 an owl interesting so we have a lot of these medicine cards here really really nice medicine cards i think they're really interesting really cool really good quality a book here that says medicine cards with yeah the same title on them so eight would be otter right so let's go to eight six is a snake it's so funny how number six is the snake you know like devil uh the eight yeah look eight otter so if eight is your lucky number um i guess i guess the woman medicine oh wow if i went to go get a medicine card reading and they flipped an otter on me a, a woman medicine i don't know how i feel about that but to be honest it's, it's pretty cool they look really really nice if you guys want these medicine cards let me know in the comment section i'm gonna be sticking them to my left because that's definitely going in the keep pile people in the comment section were saying they want a tarot card so much and like i went on google to i typed in tarot cards on google and damn they actually run for a pretty steep price so i can see why there's a lot of people that want them but i never really saw the hype in them i never understood the hype in them to be real but I don't blame you if you do. Keep them if you want. We're literally like, I'd say halfway, 60, maybe 70% done this entire dark web package. To be honest, I'm not even getting a good look of what's inside the box right now. My hand is just inside and I'm just hoping nothing bad happens. Okay. We've got a little black case here. The last time I seen a case that looks like, I mean, this type of style, a zip up case that's black was like a CD case. We had those cases with like CDs, you can like flip through them. Um, obviously this is not the same size of a CD, but that's the last time I seen anything of this sort of fashion. So I'm interested to see what's inside here. Maybe it's old crap, maybe it's not. Got a, got a business card inside here. A James, <laughs> James Bond. It's supposed to be of ID. I, a visa yeah it's supposed to be an id there's a expiry valid through 0530 <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's no credit cards that expire in 2030 right now so you can obviously this is fake this is oh, come on doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that this is fake but really bad touch would be to tell us that it expires in 2030 there's no credit cards that expire in 2030 right now there's something inside there i'm gonna take a look at that in just a second but we have we have more of those Oh, this is more sorted neat. What the heck are these? So we pulled out these things from the dark web mystery box and it looks like we got more of them. I don't know what the heck they are, but if you guys do know, let me know in the comment section down below. James Bond, uh, that's really interesting. It looks like there's stuff, it feels like there's stuff and it sounds like there's stuff, oh wow. Oh, shit. So I hope this camera is doing some sort of justice right now. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing a much better close-up for you guys. But take a look at this stuff here. I'm going to be repeating myself again, but let me know what that is in the comment section down below. So uh, taking this and putting this all to my left. Low quality, high quality, I don't know. I don't know what it is. More packing peanuts inside here. A remote power button. Okay, maybe I shouldn't press the power button. Nothing's happening. Pointing it at this demon. Nothing happens. I mean, yeah, there's an infrared light. There's an IR light here, so you have to definitely point it at something. It has volume knobs on it. Maybe there's a speaker inside the dark web mystery box. Nice, because we all need one of those. More packing peanuts. And we have a sunglass package here, sunglass container. Okay, small, really small, my God. Small pair of glasses here. No, 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 these are really tiny. Look at this. I'll put them on. I can't even see what they look like on me. I'm probably gonna roast myself while I'm editing this video. Damn, these are really tiny glasses. Is this what you folks are wearing nowadays? Damn it, I need to catch up with the design. I need to catch up with the style. Y'all be wearing some, some weird looking things. Uh, we're taking this and uh, putting it to, I mean, I don't need them. <laughs> Do you guys want them? The next thing that we have inside the dark web mystery box is what the, it's heavy. What the hell is this? It is a freaking Wi-Fi router. What is this? I feel like I've just pulled out honestly something that it's gonna connect my phone to the internet. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff inside here. Look at this. What the hell is this stuff? 
what coconut infused cannabis coconut infused coconut's nasty i mean i'm listen okay that's a broad statement people in the comments are gonna be like dislike don't dislike the video because i said coconuts are nasty i'm not a fan of coconuts there's a lot of people that do like coconuts i'm not a fan of them i feel like if you put coconut in anything it absolutely ruins the flavor i'm not a fan of the coconut snack there's a lot of people like me but there's a lot of people that like actually will leave a dislike on the video because i said i don't like coconuts <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't just say i like something but like you know like not actually like it we don't need no coconut in this house i'm pretty sure i've been on a date before and the girl was like, oh, you should try the coconut ice cream. And I was like, oh, no, I don't like coconut. She looked at me like I was like a monster, you know? So I'll tell you what I do like, though. I do like pineapple on my pizza. <laughs> Now I definitely deserve a dislike. But that's that little thing over there. It looks like we have a ele electronic circuit board attached. Like that's what we pulled out of it. A little wire here. Maybe I should point the remote at this. Maybe I shouldn't. Power on. Maybe this thing gets powered into, ah. It looks like I figured out the puzzle. Maybe I should plug it in, what happens? Yeah, it looks like it fits. It looks like it fits. I plugged it in. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. I mean, I still don't know what the heck it is. Maybe if I take the remote. On, open sesame, turn on Dora the Explorer. It ain't working. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be taking this and sticking this to the trash. I don't know what the hell that is. We've got, Oh, I've seen this stuff before. This stuff here is to repair iPhones, iPods. Um, I know this because I've tried to repair some sort of iPods in the past. Never really was successful with it. If I do it myself, I'm not gonna do a good job. I, I've broken every single thing I've tried to get into myself. But um, yeah, I do know that this is, this is phone repairing equipment. We definitely don't need that. I don't repair them, I break them even more. So <laughs> uh, the next thing that we have is this thing here. And I have no idea what this is. It looks like a shotgun microphone. I mean, just to give you an example that this is what a shotgun microphone is. We have video micro. It's like a miniature shotgun microphone. The next thing that we're going to be, look at this, holding. I should have done this the entire damn time. But uh, the next thing that we have inside the dark web mystery box. It looks like we have a selfie stick here. Selfie stick technology. You guys know what I'm talking about. You see a selfie stick, they all look like this or something. Like those back scratches. You have those back scratches and you can... I need a back scratcher. I need somebody to massage my back, man. I'm super lonely right now. I'm dying here. It has the same selfie stick back scratcher technology. However, it's definitely not a back scratcher. Definitely not a selfie stick. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comment section down below. This looks like something you beat somebody up with, but it's really flimsy. I feel like after one really good swing uh, at someone, probably break their tooth. Who knows what would happen? You'd have to hit them with this thing. Why am I looking at everything like it's a damn weapon? That's not good. Maybe this is not a weapon. If you guys know what this is, just let me know in the comment section down below because your boy's at an absolute loss right now. It even has, yeah, it's definitely like something you hold in your hand. It has that little grip here. Just, I'm actually gonna take a look at how strong this thing is. Maybe you guys can get a good idea too. So hold on, let's take a look. Get it. That's pretty intense. <laughs> I mean, this is cardboard, but getting someone with a nice little on the face with that, oh my God. <laughs> and you're wondering why I wasn't so worried about a dark web stalker. <laughs> A lot of people have been asking me what happened with that dark web stalker situation. I've done a like live stream where I explained the entire situation. It was a Dibbit Box live stream. If you guys want to go find out, just go go check that live stream. I, I don't want to like talk about it. I mean, like every single time I do a freaking live stream, people are like, "Crypto, what happened to your dark web stalker? What happened to your dark web stalker?" I answered it in the live stream. It's a like it's a pretty long story, and I can't say too much about it. So just go check it out. I, I did a perfect explanation. The next thing that we're gonna pull out of the dark web package here. We've got something, oh my God, what the hell? We've got a little box within the box. Oh. Now, after pulling this item out, we literally, the box is as heavy as a bag of feathers right now. So um, that's good. But we just pulled out, what the hell is this? So inside this little box here, oh my God, what the heck? I got the little top off. That's what the top looks like. By the way, if you ever catch me looking up here, and I know I look really stupid right now, but every time I'm looking up here, I'm just seeing if I'm in frame. Like right now, I know I'm dead center. So, but like I have to look at the lens to get a really good look at you guys. Sorry about that, but take a look at this coin. That's how it looks like up close. It says L100 on it on the first side. On the second side, I have absolutely no idea, but we have more stuff inside there. Oh my God, there's a lot of stuff inside here. Oh my God. Okay, all right. Where do I get started and how do I get started? So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at what's inside this package here, this box. We've got a necklace. 
hope you guys can see it with this camera. Um, the next thing that we have is a black rosary. This is some creepy looking stuff. This is some old looking stuff, like some old looking per person's possessions. The next thing that we have here is a photo. There's, a, oh my God, there's a nail in the guy's face. There's a photo of a group of people and there's a, ah, <laughs> the photo's burnt. And then there's a nail in that man's face. There's four people, that guy's, is that, is that a dude or a girl? So there's four people there, two men and two women, I'm pretty sure. Burnt photograph. There's a nail in this person, this man's face. I'm gonna put a little like attachment on the screen for you guys so you can get a better close up. But um, the nail that's in that person's face, like that guy's forehead, looks like the Terminator's forehead. You know what I'm talking about, bro. This is a stunt double for the Terminator. Okay, it's a really bad joke, I know, but like, yo, this is a really eerie sign, and I deal with this stuff just by making jokes. I'm sorry about that. This is actually terrifying. I get really unsettled by looking at stuff like this. Who knows how old this photo is? The fact that it's burnt, ripped up, and it has a nail in burnt Broski's face. Yeah, I don't like that. I really don't like that. This scares the crap out of me. I'm gonna be taking this and putting this to my right side. Uh, the coin, I don't, I'm, <laughs> actually, I'm gonna take all this stuff, make sure it's all put to the side so I can get nice close-ups for you guys. The next thing that we have here is, what the heck is this? This looks like, this looks like a prop in SpongeBob SquarePants, bro. Tell me what that is in the comment section. I'm not the identifier, I'm the unboxer. <laughs> you guys are better at identifying equipment than I am. I'm gonna put this all to the side, all the stuff that I already pulled out. Nice. I'm gonna spill everything onto the table. Lots of dirt, seashells, a dye, a yellow dye. Okay, I'm trying to, or okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna organize everything into categories because this is really, really clustery right now and I'm gonna have a hard time going through this stuff. So again, I'm gonna cut over to a much more organized setup. Okay, so I derived everything into four categories. These are little knickknacks here that come from, I don't know, but this is a die. This looks like a shoe from a toy. These are very creepy looking, but clearly, maybe clearly fake looking items. These are items that appeared from the earth is dirt. You know, natural looking items, very, very minerally. I see twigs here, I see shells, I see a bunch of things. Everything over here on this corner is metallic. So this is, I'm gonna go through the metallic stuff first. We've got, um, a pendant, a, ho a holy looking pendant. Got this thing, a bullet looking thing. It looks like an angel, a star, a cross. I don't know what the heck that is. Another one of these, we have two of these things, but these are all the metallic looking items. Put them to the side. I'm not gonna go over every rocky or earthy or twiggy type of substance here, but a nice little close up while I kind of glide over it, you know? Take a good little close up at what this stuff is. And if you guys know what this stuff is, let your boy know in the comment section down below. And uh, we've got a little miniature skull here. I feel like I've seen something like this in a dark web mystery box before. I don't know what the heck it is. We've got a, I'm hoping a fake looking bone here. It looks kind of fake. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to smell it. That's going to be nasty. We've got like a miniature, like kind of spear here, you know? Maybe just throw it at Thomas. Ah, headshot. And we've got a yellow dye. Unfortunately, I only have one die here, but last time I did this, I got really, really good luck. If I roll a, a three, I want you guys to like the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll it. Oh my god! <laughs> I actually just got a three on my first try. Okay, no, you have to like the video. You actually have to like the video there. I'm gonna do another roll. I'm gonna do one more roll. Okay, that was really good luck. I'm gonna do one more roll. If I get this roll, you guys have to comment on this video. I want you guys to go in the comment section and say, Crypto, here's your comment. I have to do it. I'm gonna aim for, I'm gonna aim for a six. If I get a six, you guys have to place a comment on this video. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh my <laughs> One try, one try to get a six. You have to comment. Go in the comment section, type crypto. Here's your comment. Do it right now. Do it. That's perfect. That's sick. That actually makes me feel like I have really good luck with this video. I'm gonna take all this uh, really earthy crap and um, I'm gonna put it back in this little box. Maybe I'm gonna throw it away in the trash. I don't know. If you guys want it, anything in here, just let me know in the comment section. The reason why I want to throw it in the trash is because, um, like you know, like I said, if people come to my house and they see what's inside this box, they're definitely gonna leave thinking I'm crazy. So <laughs> I don't want this stuff in my home. If you guys want it, then. You, have, you guys are open to leave comments down below letting you so. We're almost done with the dark web package. Actually getting a lot lighter. It's all packing peanuts, packing peanuts. So we can go ahead and take out this pack, this thing. We have a... Oh, oh, it's a dream catcher. <laughs> that's sick. We got a dream catcher here. Oh my God. It looks like that's all the items that's inside the dark web package. 
So I took out all of the contents from the dark web mystery box, um, and all of them are on the table now. It's all packing peanuts, and we have this yellow container, and we have this dream catcher looking thing. This fell out of the box, it's another seashell looking, another seashell looking thing. But we got more. What are these, magic conches? It's the magic conch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so everything looks like it's packing peanut, packing peanut. I'm gonna go ahead and review the last item inside the dark web mystery box. So I made a little packing peanut border here um, so I can finish off this dark web mystery box for you guys. Like I said, we had this dream catcher. From a dark web mystery box, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a dream catcher. I think this is called a nightmare creator. <laughs> I smell a new product idea. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea. Would anybody want to have a nightmare creator? <laughs> Copyrighted, oh. Oh, I broke it. Got a little piece of, uh, what are they called? That crystal thing here? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm copywriting the idea of, I'm definitely gonna trademark the idea of Nightmare Catcher or Nightmare Creator. <laughs> that shit's fire, that sounds so cool. I want a Nightmare Creator. I like my nightmares. I'm actually really odd. Like I'm the type of person, like I wake up from a nightmare. Obviously I'm happy that the nightmare is over, but I like the adrenaline rush that people feel when they just wake up from a nightmare, you know? Just like their heart's beating, you feel it in your neck, you're covered in sweat. Oh yeah, I love it. I love nightmares. That's how boring my life is. <laughs> I opened up this little package here and yeah, little white containers. Again, Aurora. Oh, both of them say Aurora. This one has a liquid inside and that one definitely has capsules. Interesting, it says Aurora on it. A yellow label here. The higher the THC content of a product, the more likely you are experience adverse effects and greater levels of impairment. Oh wow. It's interesting because none of the labels say you're gonna die if you take it. I'm pretty sure you can't die if you take it. If you took this and downed this like a shot, um, you're gonna get fried, I imagine, but <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'd die, would you? Let me know in the comment section if that's the case. But we have two of them here. The second one says the same company name on it, Aurora, Aurora or Aurora, I don't know how the heck to pronounce it. I'm definitely not gonna be trying this stuff. It says total TH is 26.2 mg per G. I don't even know what the heck that means. So, wait, every gram, there is 26.2 milligram per gram. Is that, is that high? <laughs> I have no idea, but. That's all the stuff that I got from the Dark Web Mystery Box, right? I'll show you guys what the inside of these capsules look like. We have, oh, they're blue. Oh, the other ones, the other ones were like orangey or like ready, orangey or ready type of capsules. These are blue. Wow, oh, wow. It says the same thing. TH soft gels. Oh my God. So these ones here, I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I did earlier. I'm actually gonna show you guys um, a little close up. That's in a controlled environment. I'm gonna be opening it and seeing what's inside. So I'm gonna poke it with a knife or cut it with a knife. And that's what it looks like inside. Again, as I'm talking to you right now, I don't know what it looks like inside because I'm narrating to you through the Dark Web Mystery Box video, but this is what it looks like inside. Enjoy it, enjoy it, and that is all you are getting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for the Dark Web Mystery Box. If you guys found the secret in today's episode, go ahead and tell me in the comment section what it is, where you found it, and the timestamp you found it at. Make sure you do that. And if you're the first to do this, I'll go ahead and pin your comment to the top of the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on that notification bell and you will be notified the next time I upload a dark web mystery box on YouTube. I'm gonna try to do dark web mystery boxes once every two weeks or once every three weeks, but if you guys wanna be notified for any dark web box, like I said, put on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. That's all for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you in the future, and remember to stay off the dark web.